Well, it's another week, and that means that the Wheel of Time has released some new content through their Amazon series. So we have our non-readers react, who had just watched the the new two-minute trailer. We have G Mama and Lady Catherine. Welcome, ladies. Hi. I am excited to be back. I'm happy to have you. We just watched the scene together. It's about two minutes. It's available on the Twitter account. Um, ladies, we'd like to know what your opinion is of what we've seen. The last scene that we saw that was kind of that two-minute scene, I thought was a lot more impactful as, like, if if I'm coming back after kind of a year, I really liked the one with the little girl playing more so than this one. So if, if anyone who is editing the show wants my opinion, I vote for the other one as the very first scene. But, 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 but to this scene... So I, we're, we're here to talk about this this scene that was just uh, dropped. I it gave a lot of backstory. Sort of reminded me, right, of a, of a lot that was going going on, and it because it kept flashing back the conversation between I don't remember his name, but the guy who was they found kind of crazy and arrested and took power from him and Rand, and right there's a question that Rand wants to ask him that he does is not willing to ask. But it kept reminding us of what happened before and kept taking us back to kind of the the flashback, which I I felt was a little, I don't know, it was a little odd to me. It was just a kind of a little like reminding me that um, or making me feel like I I couldn't remember on my own. Mm -hmm. And maybe I couldn't, but it just it, it felt a little a little funky. Well, Lady Catherine, what we what we have here is a scene with Rand and Loghain. And the last that we had seen Loghain is he was at the White Tower. He was speaking with Swan. He's like, "I'm gonna take you down," and she, and she's like, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill you." And he starts crying because he was trying to trying to get her to kill him because he was so distraught, right? And we had Rand who was nowhere near the White Tower when we last saw him. He was he was way the heck north. So uh, how do you think that these two cats meet? I thought he escaped. I was wondering if I forgot it from last season. I was like, did he get out and I forgot that? And I'm glad he said he was the one who was dragged in because I'm like, they're starting to look a lot alike. I mean, if he had his hair fixed and his face clean, he would look like the bad, super bad guy. So, I mean, there's yeah. not that big of a difference unless it's, you know, so I, I'm glad he said who he was because I actually would, didn't remember which one he was. But I have absolutely no idea where they are. I, I, I don't know if he escaped. I don't know why he'd ask him how to control it because obviously it just made him a crazy. So it didn't really he did couldn't really control it himself either. Mm. So I'm I, I, I'm it just kind of I, I I wasn't really as impressed with this little clip personally. Yeah, uh, I like the kimono a lot. I like that he was sitting there in a garden eating some oatmeal or something. <laughs> And apparently Ran is just hovering to the point where Logan's like, hey, kid, just ask. Just ask. Just come up and ask. He's like, well, what? what? I, I don't know what you mean. He's like, yeah, I thought he was going to ask for a glowing. bite of his pool. That's another thing. If Ran, he saw Ran glowing. And we did see this scene in season one where Logan was being uh, in the cart, being brought through the streets of Tarvalon. And he looks up and he sees Rand and Matt and he starts laughing. But it seems like it's kind of this weird hallucinogenic scene because it's done oh. through Matt's point of view. He thinks that Loghain is laughing at him. He thinks that he can channel and he starts getting really uh, like vertigo almost, right? We see now that Loghain was indeed looking at Rand, seeing that he's glowing and obviously can then channel. And he was glowing so brightly it made him laugh the i don't know maybe he still was laughing at matt and that's just this one clip saying this i mean because they weren't mm. together and matt appeared to be the one who was a little so I, I, this this didn't give me as much as i wanted and excite me as much as the other trailers did this is just almost a filler for me. Like, mm, okay. I guess it's yeah, supposed to be I, important, but I don't know. 
I would. That's what I was just gonna say. I'm like, since they're releasing this conversation, and and it was a it was a conversation. It it's likely quite important, right? In terms of this conversation between these two guys and and being able to mm-hmm. control the power, but as a as someone not completely knowing and understanding the dynamic, just that the scene it, itself was was lacking. So maybe. Or maybe they're releasing scenes that that for for you guys are all geeked and excited about and can't believe that this conversation's happening, and and for us that there it's some of the some of the other stuff that makes us excited as well. That's a really fair statement. We know that there's a white tower that trains women to channel. Rand is kind of on his own island here in that they discourage all men channeling and in fact hunt them down and sometimes kill them. Um, does Rand need a mentor, do you guys think? It's quite possible. Like Lady Catherine said, it's interesting that he's finding someone who it didn't work out well for for him. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, and 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 to the point we talked about earlier where trying to figure out where they are. I was listening to and it sat because it sounded like there was some like something going on you could hear birds for a little bit but you it also sounded like there was fighting happening or are something either over the wall or somewhere a little bit outside of where they were there was a lot of commotion so maybe there they are in some place some training ground type place i, I, I think know. they live near the highway <laughs> yeah i don't think they would be in the dick and balls because that's where all of his friends are and he's supposed to be dead so he would not go to where his friends are and i think if he really wanted someone to tutor him he wouldn't he ask maureen because she's kind of a good point that's Um, a good point they did have uh the line where he said i met you i was caged and here we are miles away yeah i caught i caught that too that it was clear that they were weren't at the Uh white tower because at first i thought maybe they were like if he was still uh, in prison there but then they made it they made it but, clear that they were but they're wearing these blue away. robes what do you guys think of the blue robes uh that they are most decidedly wearing awesome well yeah Amazing. oh yeah oh, hands down great but so yeah yeah well where, wherever they are they're right they're they're very clean and well like well kept and well you know wearing nice garments so they're not they're not somewhere where they're um you know kind of fighting for a place to sleep in and it's not, uh-huh. they're not on the run. They don't seem to be on the run. Uh-huh. They seem to be on the runway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. They're, they're, they're very comfortable where they are. Yeah. They both pull I, out cigars after that scene. I think that the guy eating oatmeal is wearing a Hefner. Hugh Hefner kind of robe. <laughs> uh-huh, and I uh-huh. thought that uh, Rand was wearing like an Anakin type uh outfit but with like uh-huh. the silver thread through the the blue it was but it, it was, was lovely yeah but he had like that that beige like drape uh-huh. sort of uh i'm trying to be a jedi look all right so uh, is there a significance to the color blue that they're we we've, we've been noticing i feel like in every trailer we've been commenting that it seems like everyone's wearing blue a lot of blue yeah so, we, we mentioned so there's a, there's year, a lot yeah. of blue what whether it's significant or the costume designer's favorite color we are i am not sure <laughs> i got this extra thread here so come on. <laughs> it's, just, it's beautiful yeah. i'm sure everything's everything ends up being significant some somehow but they did uh, want to incorporate some pink but during the filming of barbie the world the ran people. out of the color pink so <laughs> so it's all blue lady cat there's plenty of pink <laughs> <laughs> So here's one thing I noticed, and may I don't know, I don't remember how much Rand spoke last season, whether it was a lot or not, um, or because I listened to the book mm-hmm. Spare, but no joke, he sounds just like Harry. Like his voice is this very like rich English voice in this in this trailer. Uh huh. I thought yeah. it was. But, and That's I great. and I don't remember that much of a again a, like a dignified voice from him last An season. Upper crust. Yeah, but it but it sounded very dignified. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I w- I wonder if he uses an accent and if it may have changed a little. I just as you mention it now. Hmm. Gonna have to rewatch. Yeah, 
eight episodes. It's not too hard. No, I'm going to do it anyways. So before the next one starts. So then I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it's been, what, two years? It's been. Well, I'm going to do it. Sorry. <laughs> I cannot wait for this show to start. So, if anything drops, we'll be here to re- respond to it, guys. Before we go, how many leaves do you, uh, out of five, how many leaves do you give this two minute clip? Lady two Catherine. and a half leaves. Okay. Two and a half leaves. I was going to say two for two. Two. Sounds like these ladies could take it or leaf it. I, I, that's, <laughs> that's what we're getting. But. Thank you. Thank you. That's it's amazing. Far from the tree for me. I gave well, it a four. And your leaf's yeah. not even on the tree. <laughs> no, it's not. It floated gave, away. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. That's so funny. Uh, well, you know, uh, the, swing and a miss for Amazon. <laughs> well, I, I do like that their yeah. their observation that this was maybe for more book readers than show watchers. That's a good point. Yeah, uh, because this intrigued me a bit. And so. and and just just objectively, I thought the acting was great. I liked the shots. I liked the angles they're choosing. I liked the that the, it was very meticulously put together. Um, I, I was actually very came out of it even more hopeful for season two than before. Because I like this. It, I think a show that has just nonstop action is is, is tiresome. There's got to be some beats where uh, characters interact with, with this sort of tension and not the tension of that I'll, I'll take i'll take more even if they're even if they're even if they're only two and a half leaves i'll take them right. <laughs> well uh, next week hopefully we'll get another drop and hopefully we'll get um lady Catherine and g mama's opinion on what we're seeing here guys yep and uh, don't forget uh every episode we will uh react with our uh un- unadulterated brand of humor <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been our non-readers react segment. Tune in next time. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.